As we prepare to read the Book of Mormon for Come Follow Me this year, I would like to invite you to join me as I read in a different way this time. When we joined the church, we likely read the Book of Mormon or passages from it and likely read it as a storybook. This is the way that most people tend to read scripture. This time though, let's read it in a way where we study, find out, learn and apply the scriptures so that we are able to really live the gospel to follow Christ better in our lives on a daily basis through thoughts that we think, ways that we feel, choices that we make and actions that we do. How can we do this by studying the scriptures? The key to being able to apply the lessons of scripture is by reading about it and understanding what the people in each book were experiencing, struggling with, being tempted by and learning to overcome. So. I would say the first step is to read and understand the overall story, to look at the big picture of what happened, when, how, and why it happened. The second step is to zoom in and really look at it or focus on one person who struggled, one person who succeeded, and then try and understand how they succeeded or failed. The third step is to follow and to apply. It's important that we want to follow the Lord. We have to choose consciously to follow him, to look to him for guidance, support and strength. What is your goal in following Christ? Mine is to be worthy to return back home to him. How can I do this? It's a question that I like to ask myself, especially when I'm tempted to be judgmental, selfish, irritable or unkind. And believe me, I am. And the answer that comes back is always the same by trying consistently to change or to convert myself to be as much like him in thought, word or deed as I can. Now I'm as human or I'm as imperfect as any of you, perhaps even more so than anybody else. So trying to be like him is a challenge, but I try and I believe that that is what God wants most from us. Once we have made up our minds to follow him, Applying that technique, method, principle that each one of those people who succeeded used and avoiding the one that the people who failed gave into will guide you and me to deal with and overcome our own struggles, learning and growth in a more Christ-like way every day. So to help understand this or clarify this concept a little better, I would like to compare the experience of using scripture study to live a happier and a better life to that of using a map to complete a really long cross-country drive. To use a map to get somewhere, we have to learn to be able to read a map. We have to learn to understand the directions, how to avoid traffic, how to avoid dangers and pitfalls. If we do a little prep work, study our map, calculate the shortest route, avoid pitfalls or changes, we reach our destination much sooner and more comfortably. Studying the lessons from the Book of Mormon can help us do this. It can help us create a map for our lives, a roadmap that we can follow so that we reach our end destination of living out the Father's plan for each of us on earth and returning back home to him easily, successfully, happily, comfortably and safely. So I invite each one of you to join me as I study scriptures from the Book of Mormon so that we get a clearer and a better understanding of how we can live a happier and a better life.